Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. This is episode 524 of the Ping Pong Flick Show. Let's get to this one little DC film update. This is in concerns to the Black Adam movie. New Dr. Fate character description for Black Adam reveal a mature adaptation of the hero. Um, this is an exclusive, I guess, from Emra Kaya Vulane, at Vulane. Uh, he is like a sort of su- scooper on Twitter, but looks like this. Black Adam is going to be a corrupt ancient Egyptian predecessor of Captain Marvel who fought his way to modern times to challenge the hero and his Marvel family associates. Lead male is 40 to 50. Hawkman is going to be a lead male 30 to 40. Isis is going to be a lead female 20 to 30. Adam Smasher supporting male 20 to 30. Stargirl supporting female in 20s. Dr. Fate supporting male 30 to 40. And finally Hawk Girl supporting female 20 to 30. So uh, this kind of gives you an idea of, of where they're going to going with these characters. The age of these characters. Um, and almost just to reveal that whole lineup right there. Pretty much we kind of already know the Justice Society of America is going to be in this movie. This is not just a Black Adam movie. This is kind of like its very own Justice League if you will. Uh, Black Adam versus Justice uh, Society of America, possibly in two different timelines. Maybe uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, how how much how big uh, this movie is. But it's starting to come up to be a pretty big, uh, sizable movie. Let's just hope they're able to start shooting uh, soon uh, amidst this whole coronavirus COVID nineteen situation. Speaking about the COVID-19 situation, the coronavirus, and how it's affecting the industry, I want to read you a few things from this article uh, from Adweek. HBO Max unveils a condensed marketing push ahead of its May 27th debut. The streaming service had to recalibrate amid the COVID-19 pandemic. So the whole COVID-19 situation is definitely changing the industry, right? Uh, We already know this. Uh, Major sporting events are canceled. A lot of uh, big gatherings are canceled. Comic-Con is canceled. And of course, theaters are closed uh, as everybody is trying to, you know, stay safe. And there's a lot of social distancing uh, and things like that. And even could be possibly towards the future as well. In fact, Deadline reported that Warner Media was rethinking the theatrical model. The AT&T COO John Stankey doesn't expect snapback recovery by exhibitors, where he kind of uh, I had a little speech in this uh, little article, and I, you can go ahead and link in the description to uh, um, see what was said. But basic gist was that they're really glad they got into the whole HBO Max thing, as people will probably stay at home. They want to watch the, safely at home, and that will be the new way of the future. He doesn't think that after this whole thing, people will still want to go to theaters. There is a concern, and they're maybe even being pushed uh, to really put a lot more content on uh, HBO Max right there. Uh, So that is an interesting uh, article. It it really uh, puts in line of how much uh, effort and how much resources they are definitely putting into um, HBO Max, right? But then this came out uh, not too long after where Hollywood Reporter came out. It says Warner Brothers late Wednesday reaffirmed the studio's commitment to the cinematic experience in hopes of clearing up confusion over comments made to investors by Warner Media boss John Stanky earlier in the day about the future of the theatrical model. So they had to come back and say because they, you know, um, say and, and clarify because there's still a lot of exhibitors out there say, hey, what the heck are you saying? Are you saying you're not going to release any movies in our theaters? Um, and 
and uh, Warner Brothers had to say, wait, 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 wait. Uh, they didn't mean that. Let's let's get back. You know, they didn't mean that at all. We're still a viable company. Blah blah blah. Um, and and they they had to reaffirm that you know movies like Tenet, uh, Wonder Woman, you know, theatrical model movies will remain will still go to theaters, right? Even though we know deep down Warner Media. That's right. Warner Media, uh, who was owned by AT and T, who also owns Warner Brothers, are saying that, "Hey, you know, I think this is our new future." Uh, in fact, this whole COVID nineteen situation kind of accelerated that future, which is HBO Max. But Warner Brothers, they're still trying to remain relevant, and they will for a while. But because of this uh, situation now, it's seeming less likely. Uh, and uh, Warner Brothers is really trying to. St- you know, stop them away. So if you can't, see, you can see this right now that there are two, um, two ideas that are kind of uh, clashing with each other. You got Warner Media, Warner Max, uh, and then you got Warner Brothers. A Hollywood Reporter is a Hollywood Reporter. They really are much more in line with the Hollywood motto, which is movie theaters, red carpet, things like that. Um, and so it, it is an interesting thing to see, to actually write in the same day, see one head, one part thinking this way and one part thinking this way or trying to save what's little as left of them. I would love to watch movies in theaters right now, but you do kind of see the importance of this model, especially in times of where creativity will uh, be able to be achieved better on uh, this model rather than the traditional model. Uh, and you know, uh, and this article just kind of really reaffirms that situation. Uh, it's kind of a crazy time to be launching any product given the anxiety and the econom- economic uncertainty that we've all been experiencing over the last month, said Chris uh, Spadacini, the chief marketing officer of Warner Media Entertainment. I don't know if any marketer would choose to launch a new product in this environment, but people are streaming more content than ever and looking for an escape from reality. So in some ways, the timing and current climate could actually work to our advantage. So you really see Warner Media's way of thinking, despite what Warner Brothers are trying to tell them, say, hey, you better change that attitude. But you know what? They can't. They're owned by them. So, but we'll continue on. We don't need to beat our chest about quality because you see it right there on the screen. But what we do need to do is explain that HBO Max is more than HBO, not more of HBO. That's why our messaging strategy needs to be simple. It needs to be expository, and we landed on where HBO meets so much more. So they want to make sure the message across is more than just HBO brand. There are some things here. They want to show that they have a bigger, much wider uh, catalog. HBO Max is designed to be expansive, and it's going to offer new content for different members of the family who have different tastes, but it is still evoking that premium quality that HBO represents, Spadencini said. So um, the company scrapped early messaging that highlighted Warner Media linear brands like TNT and TBS, which Spadencini said furthered confusion about what HBO Max was. Instead, the marketing team honed in on highlighting the best of the services library, testing titles with consumers to see which ones drove the highest levels of interest and intent. This is very important. They're testing titles with consumers to see which one drove the highest levels of interest and intent. Certain shows like Game of Thrones, Wonder Woman and Looney Tunes were unsurprisingly popular, while others, including The Wizard of Oz and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, performed better than expected with consumers. Characters and scenes from all those shows are featured prominently in creative that chop scenes and characters together show off a variety of programming in video and static ads. The marketing campaign juxtaposes well-known characters with one another. So... 
as a marketing standpoint, you'll see these things. Billboards, this picture right here. There's a ton of characters. They're throwing everything they have out there to show you that we're not just one thing or two things or this. We're everything. You can find what you're looking for, what you love at HBO Max, right? And possibly including the Zack Snyder's Justice League. But maybe I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Um, if you go here, right, you go to the AT&T ads, you see, uh, you see billboards like this, but you see things like this, HBO Max, all your favorites in one place. And you notice how they just kind of pull uh, certain characters putting on there, right? Um, there is probably a reason for that. Like they said, they're testing in that article, they said we're testing titles with consumers they're testing there's testing to see what you are interacting with here are, are they talking about uh you know are they talking about sheldon are they talking about wizard of oz are they talking about you know, you know sesame street what are they looking for uh what are their interest in right so um these are a great opportunities to reply and reply we did i mean everything almost 90 something percent even probably even almost 100 uh, percent of the replies on here is zach snyder's just released the snyder cut and you definitely know they've heard they're hearing this they're 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 kind of looking at it now the reason why we trended was just to get their attention, just to show that's what you can do as consumers. They're watching. They're definitely watching. This is not spamming. This is not uh, harassment. This is not bully. This is consumers asking, uh, uh, asking them what we want, asking this company what we want to see. They are in an entertainment industry. They want to cater to the consumers because if they don't cater to, if they if they disregard what they're seeing here, what people want to see, then who are the, who? How are they going to get watched? Right? Who's gonna who's from here are going to go and click on the other shows? Right? They're watching. This is analytics. This is part of marketing. You don't go with something that nobody's interested in, especially in the entertainment industry. You have to go what people are clicking on. They're definitely clickbaity. Um, and uh, it, this this rings in everything, right? <laughs> Every industry, whatever, what have not, even on YouTube, right? Um, same thing. Every one of these posts, you start to see things, how smart they are in marketing at the same time, gathering information on what is exactly is, is what we're trying to, um, what we want, right? So they're gathering information. So they put out the, a nice little thing called pick one roommate, one bodyguard, one nemesis. They want you to interact with them at the same time. They want to know who you're picking. So a lot of these are released. It's not I'm not going to lie. A lot of these. Maybe they had one Jigglypuff here, uh, Nathan. <laughs> put it there. For for the most part, they're looking. They're actually looking. They put these characters out in per on purpose. They're wondering what you're choosing. And I'm guessing if analytics are correct, people they're seeing that. Oh, okay, they're choosing these guys the most, right? They're putting uh, four different popular type of series, popular uh, IPs on here. You got Pokemon, you got, you know, um, uh, you, you got the Matrix, right? Uh, you also have Doctor Who, and then you also have, you know, of course, the Justice League. So they're looking to see, well, what are you interested in? What, what, are you interacting with you know so this is a very important to uh, respond to these and i know a lot of you are really are to respond to these to uh, play that game to go with them on that marketing because they want to know from you they're they're using certain ways or certain strategies to to find out what you're looking what you're interested in and we may have kind of did something we may have actually um got their attention this is an HBO Max PR. Um, they're the public relations, their official HBO Max public relations, liking two articles, Comic Book Now and ComicBook.com. On the title headlines is Justice League Release the Snyder Cut Movement Swarms HBO Max Twitter Announcement. Release the Snyder Cut fans really want HBO Max to stream the movie. 
This is not fake. You can go to this, HBO Max PR. Tweets from the HBO Max communications team, uh, team start streaming May 20th, 127th. This is the actual uh, press room or public relations, however you want to say it. This is actually them. They actually are putting this out. They are liking interesting things in here and if you scroll down through this official feed official feed you're gonna see that they did indeed like two articles that involved the Snyder cut in fact when we swarmed when we went came out and told them what we want right Every single one of us in Snyder Cut fandom, even people outside the fandom who are kind of interested, are asking HBO Max, please release the Snyder Cut. Please, we want to see Zack Snyder's Justice League. And they've heard. They hear us. How can they not? How can they ignore every single one of these, right? In fact, to the point that they're putting this out to test the waters, to say, what? are we actually interacting with here what are we trying to see here right um, and I, I believe that more and more they'll try to uh, try to come up ways to get our attention um, and, and that's something that uh, is is truly fascinating intent in, in you know uh, intriguing to me because when you go through at t they're throwing out different things they're trying to see how many likes how many interactions you see these engagements they're on your Twitter you can see your own engagements what's being engaged here what's going on here look at this this one had these 90 replies retweets likes um, and that's because it had that character in it does this have much? No. Does this have much? Unfortunately, no, but it's good to hear good news about this whole situation. Uh, this much? No. A big? No. Okay. You. This is how they're finding out how they can market. And, and it's working. I can tell you it's working. They're listening. They've heard us. They're absolutely knowing what's going on. In fact, I don't know if this is a joke or this is just to get us to see what will what will get us. And I'm sure there was a Corona cut a hashtag that was going around. I don't know, but it said cut on there. It was AT and T, and you know we came, we swarmed in, uh, talked about. Okay, you want to talk about the cut and almost everything in here is pretty much release a Snyder Cut. This is unavoidable at this point. Everything that even mentions Justice League, any of the DC characters, even a, th a word like cut um, is definitely getting our attention. So, and that could be a good thing. Like I said, that could be a good thing. It shows that there is a demand for DCEU is there's the demand for DC products and there is a very 100% a high demand for Zack Snyder's Justice League release the Snyder Cut so yeah this is this is awesome I am so excited I hope this means actually something but because we're talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League this is my Zack Snyder's Justice League fan pick of the day. It's I love it because it's very simple. Lots of black space, but it kind of um, it, it's along the same tone as Zack Snyder's Justice League title. It was all white, black. You know, it kind of represents the black suit in a way. Uh, number eight oh seven, Alexandra Grishkin. This is hit my fan pick poster of the day. I love it. It's it's it exudes that uh, f uh you know the photography uh where you're back in the day you're just doing black and white photography um it, it's just simple composition simple uh usage of space um it's it's very simple and, and that's why i'm i i truly enjoy this one right now so um uh, check it out alexander grishkin number 807 uh excellent job now Zack Snyder did kind of post something the day after we trended very with HBO Max. Zack Snyder's Justice League and Release of Snyder Cut trended together with the HBO Max reveal, even over HBO Max reveal. 
Zach Snyder posted this out. He said, inspiration from Ad Clay Annals at KC. House gym has always been a state of mind. We train at home because the gym and the house are one. Now, this could mean many things or it could be just a dumbbells, a 150-pound dumbbells. And oh my God. Are you telling me, Zach, you could lift 250-pound dumbbells? Holy cow. <laughs> That's crazy. So, I mean, what? I, mean, I, I, can't, I probably can lift one of those uh, with both my hands. But... That's a uh, that's that's strong stuff. But so there's a lot of symbolism in here. People are guessing 510, 150 plus 150 is 300. The movie 300. There's an eagle there. Uh, lots of symbolisms with numbers, numerical uh, things like that. Even down to what I I kind of thought. Well, he said because the gym and the house are one. It reminds me of of you know the yes you in the land are one the king and the land are one from excalibur um you know we could go over tinfoil all day on this but i think for the most simple um if it means anything at all other than him um you know uh, lifting is that the state of mind right is that it, it the strength right I inspiring stay strong um uh you know we are one together i think that's uh the whole purpose of that but uh we'll we'll, we'll have to wait and see i mean i think uh, it does exactly mean something um and i think it's m a positive thing i think it's exuding positivity uh in this case so awesome um but out of that um oh not to that point yet but um i just want to remind you that uh we're still having that massive collage picture up so um there is a post here that i'll link in the description below i know it's probably hard uh, to go out and get a selfie right now but um go ahead and check this out dear release the snare cut family the idea is to show that no matter where we are from we are sharing the same passion and the same commitment this is why we have to take the picture outside in a place that represent our different cities uh here in france we're supposed to end quarantine progressively starting 11th may if like me you couldn't take your pick because of the virus please keep me updated about the situation in your country uh can't wait to take mine in paris uh i count on you and you count on me not to leave uh, let anyone behind i really want to do a huge collage that you're going to be proud of sophia um so uh, take a pic this is a few examples that's me uh oh did i not mirror that correctly but anyway it should be the other way um and uh norway sydney australia miami usa so if you haven't been able to um and if you're still in quarantine lockdown it is what it is but if you can uh you know please try uh and reach out to uh sophian uh with your you know submit submission so and now it's town to what Will Rowlands had put out. He was inspired by that 510 because 510 is actually Mother's Day. So it's Sunday, May 10th, 2020, Mother's Day. He's deciding to put uh, arrange a, new, a Twitter event uh, once again. Um, Mother's Box Day uh, at, uh, you know, hashtag Zack Snyder's Justice League on that day. Inspired by Zack's Vero dumbbell pick, uh, inscribed with 510. We decided it would uh, be a great excuse to keep up the pressure and online presence to celebrate the mothers within the Zack Snyder justice league on mother's day a symbolic gesture of rebirth and unity even steppenwolf wanted to create a unity connecting those mother boxes so let's get trending for zach to show we won't stay quiet to remind war brothers we are determined and we are united i want to add warner max in there too uh or more media um 
so uh, at 2.14 p.m., wherever you are globally, just share a picture relating to motherhood and use the hashtag. So Mother's Box Day, Mother Box Day uh, at uh, hashtag Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, someone else also recommended that we maybe we can even ride the Mother's Day hashtag with Zack Snyder's Justice League as well. But, uh, you know, that's up to you. Um, so that's coming up Sunday, May 10th. Uh, the next thing also is this one may 27th this is a big one this is a big one because hbo max comes out uh hbo max launches on may 27th let's show hbo max and warner brothers that there is a market and a demand for Zack snyder's justice league when Wednesday, May 27th at 2.14 p.m. In your local time, we will not all be tweeting at the same time. Depending on your location, you may be tweeting hours before your friends. This will spread out your tweets, our tweets and maintain a steady stream throughout the day. The details. Tweet your messages, pics, gifs with the hashtags Release the Snyder Cut and Zack Snyder's Justice League tag HBO Max, tag HBO Max PR, tag Warner Media Group. Uh, feel free to continue to tag Warner Brother Pictures, uh, Warner Brothers, AT&T for increased invisibility. Tweet as much as you want and as time allows throughout the day. Let's stand together and make our voices heard from around the globe. It's time to release the Snyder Cut, it's time for Zack Snyder's Justice League, All right? So that is the biggest one, uh, starting with the May 10th, culminating with the May 27th. Um, some people said there's something on May 20, but I don't know that yet. I will update you when I can, but this is the biggest one. May 27th, let's be as loud. Let's give it all you got uh, as HBO Max is launching. Uh, let's give it all you got. This is what you want to see. They want to see this engagement. They've heard us. Um, let's let them hear it again. Let's make sure that they remember we're still here. And we're still asking for Zack Snyder's Justice League. All right, guys. Let's get that hot dog. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.